Good morning, this is Robin Bremer, and you're watching Walks with God, and I'm getting ready to go for my prayer walk. And, okay, well, I'm just about finished with my walk. So here goes. Um, 1 Timothy 1 says, Although, and this is Paul talking, Although I was formerly a blasphemer, a persecutor, and an insolent man. He said this was what Paul did. He spoke evil. He was slanderous. He was reproachful, railing, abusive. Okay, he, he was uplifted with pride. Does that sound like people in the world today? Um, he heaps, he put insults, he insulted them with language, insulting language, swearing, uh, he did, sh and, and shameful acts of wrong. Obtain mercy because I did it in ignorance and unbelief. He did it in ignorance and unbelief. And this is what got him saved, mercy. He said, I obtained mercy. Okay, so number one, to pray for religious people and for revival on our land is mercy. Okay, and the grace of the Lord God was exceedingly abundant with faith and love, which is in Christ Jesus. So, you pray for grace, mercy, and faith, and the love of God to come on those people who are all the things that I just named. Okay, however, for this reason I obtained mercy. So, you got to pray for mercy for those people that are hurting you, those people and family members around you that are harassing you and calling you names. Okay, for this reason I obtained mercy that in, in me first that Jesus Christ might show all his patience as a pattern to those who are going to believe after him. So Paul is a pattern. Uh, God showed me that when I look at this scriptures right here that Paul is a pattern of how to pray and what to expect for the religious people, traditional religious and dead people and sinners even. Okay, a pattern to show, a pattern to those who are going to believe, okay? So they're going to believe. Then it goes on to say, oh, okay, that's it on that scripture. Then he took me to Acts 9. He says, see, just to show you what Paul, remind me what Paul was doing. Paul was breathing threats and murder against people. And what happened to him was, remember in Acts 2, it said that these things will happen. Uh, signs, wonders, prophecies, uh, I'll pour my flesh, I mean my spirit out in all flesh. Okay, well, God, God, just like Paul, is causing signs, wonders, and miracles to come to those people who are ignorant, who are zealous for God, but the wrong God and the wrong way. People who are ignorant and don't know. So that's basically what he's showing to me today, that in order to pray, pray for revival, um, that in the dead and religious churches because the churches have to come alive. Those are people that are hungry for the things of God. They're just being taught the wrong things. They've just been deceived by people who have been deceived by people who have been deceived. So you pray for mercy, grace, God's love, and God's faith to grow in them. And I'm Robin Bremer and this is Walks with God. And this is Thursday about 12 noon, about my 16th day of video logging. And I'll talk to you Friday tomorrow.